warm welcome to one and all. Now, a few days ago I made myself a new YouTube channel art banner, which is actually this one here, which you'll see across all devices and all accounts for me. Now, the thing is, is that I'm going to draw your attention to the bottom piece first, and that is that when I've gone through this process myself, and bearing in mind there are millions of new uh, YouTube channels being created, I think there are some confusion points and it can be ironed out to be a lot smoother if you just bear with this and I, I want to also show everybody including myself a lot of empathy because people get confused and frustrated very very quickly so let's just take it from the top and then you can clearly see there's a few slides plus the demo here on the left hand side so this is about making a new YouTube channel art banner and now the second part here, and this is really the first bullet point with my little uh, new logo thing, and that is to create this edit channel art. There is a support page I'm about to show you, and it's quite a lot of reading, so this video might help you. Um, I've used Google Slides on the second part here, but the maximum download for a PNG JPG is 2,500 by 1406, which is crazy, bearing in mind that if you try and download Google Slides, um, the actual size you need for that image to go back to YouTube is actually the required 2560 by 1440. Can you see the annoyance there? If you've got to have 2560 and all you've got is 2500 because that's what Google Slides or Drawings only allows as the maximum download, there is a conflict there and that's why I'm going to be talking in a second or two about the SVG and how we can repair that and change it to make it a lot better and easier. So to move on a bit, um, this was my new logo. Uh, call it what you want. It is, of course, self-explanatory. I like the wheel of learning and the simplified play button in the triangles. The point of it is that if we design something and then we lay over our template, which you may have seen before, and I'll show you the link of where you can get it from, then if the image, the YouTube banner is shown on a TV, it's got to be 2560 by 1440. And then you've got desktop, tablet and desktop minimum and mobile, and it kind of like adjusts itself. You may be familiar with that. The center part is the one. Now, what I found is that when I first did it, it was a little bit too big, so I adjusted it to make it a little bit smaller and on the template it looks like that. Now uh, I think at this stage I think what I'd need to do is just show you a couple of things on the theory and that is that um, not to go into it but this is the support page which clearly gives you help on a computer which is what I'm on right now and it gives you image sizes so this is where you can download this stuff like the channel art templates and get this um, well Gray template. There is also an idea look of 2560, but if you go on to Android or iPhone, iPad, then that maximum size changes not at 2560, but it actually goes down a little bit to 2048 by 1152. Okay, so if you're with me so far, let's just take it on the mobile and said, hey, do you know what? I don't want to do anything with the desktop, I want to do it all on mobile and it's quick and easy. That's fair enough. So what you do is you go on mobile and you have an image either downloaded or somewhere on your device. And then when you upload it, it actually looks like this square here. <laughs> so when I did it with the, you know, the, the, the school bus, I'm, I'm kind of like, not laughing, but I'm just like, what? You, do? you put it in on this left image and it's not even on there. And then you start dragging it around and you've got little bits missing at the top and on the bottom. And then you can kind of like have a go like that. And then when you actually do it, it kind of like looks top left here like this. And you can see the bus is, you know, not exactly aligned up correctly and everything. And then when I did it and notice that when I tried to put in one of my yellow slides in, then the image that I actually tried, because I thought, oh, we could put anything in. It's 1920 by 1080. And I got the, the pop up here, which literally was your photo is too small. It's got to be 2048 by 1152. And then I tried it at the right side. It came out really big and I didn't even know what was going on. So you, you could actually with, you know, let's be fair with somebody like me who's able to manipulate myself to get what I want, you know, in this environment. And so, you know, should you to, you know, as well 
that's why possibly the desktop one might be useful. So anyway, let's keep going, shall we? And that is that what I did, and I just need to press escape on my keyboard here to get back to the, the slides. So let's say I'd gone in. Number one, go into Google Slides if that's what you want to use, or Drawings actually, I started to, but Slides is useful because you can duplicate every slide, is I set my page setup at the required amount of 2560 by 1440, which is lovely and good. And then the moment I hit File, Download as, and at this stage it was a JPG or a PNG, whatever you like, that's fine. What actually comes down, and I'll show you exactly, is the one I downloaded, which is, let's move over to the right side, it's the one on the right hand side here, 25001406. And the reason that is, is because when you download anything from Google Slides or Google Drawings, it has a top off maximum rate of 2500. And you can probably see at that stage where you think, I've got to have 2560. So I've sent feedback in about this, and I will send more feedback to Google stroke YouTube and say, it's crazy. You've got a product here which is Google Slides, yet you can only give a maximum of 2500, and you need a 2560. Sure, you can use Photoshop, but people don't have Photoshop or any other thing that they have to pay for sometimes. Let's keep it you know, in one happy Google login. So how do we get over this problem? The problem is this. Um, you download, or you want to download, rather, an SVG file, and you do that. So let's say this was my image to do it. You go File, and then you do Download as SVG, which is a Scalable Vector Graphic. When it comes down, and I'm not going to do it now because obviously I've done it earlier, it comes down like this. It comes down to show me it's a Chrome file with SVG. I could open it up in a browser if I... Actually, let's do that. If I opened it up as a scalable vector graphic, I can open it in Chrome. So let's just open it in Chrome and see what happens. And the thing opens up and it's pretty huge. And I can actually go into, which is lovely, is I can go in really, really big. And um, I don't know if it actually scales it anymore. Perhaps it doesn't. doesn't matter. So what you've got to do is this. Let's go back to this thing. You've got your SVG downloaded. OK, that's the first thing. Then we go in and we say cloudconvert.com, which looks like that. OK, so just, just trust and bear with me at the moment. So I'm going to select a file to use Cloud Convert. And what I need to do is I need to get my trusted file that I've just downloaded. So let's just say it was this one here. It doesn't matter if it's an SVG. So I know that that was at 25601440. does not matter a hoot at this stage. Then we go in and we say, right, I've got my SVG, which I trust is you know the, the right file or whatever. And I want to convert that into an image file, and I'm going to choose a PNG. Now, to be doubly, doubly sure, is I want to change it to a custom width. Now, I know that if I didn't change this, I know that my original file was 2560 by 1440. But just in case, I'm going to enter 2560 by 1440 in the box. And then after that, I'm going to hit OK. And now nothing happens because you've got to go down to the bottom right hand side and start the conversion. Very quick, very easy file, and it's finished. Then I can actually hit download, which comes down bottom left of screen. And then I can go back to my downloaded files and just hit refresh there. And you'll find that my one that I've just downloaded is exactly the same size as 2560 by 1440. So then, after all that, knowing that we've actually got our file in the right um, pixel ratio, shall we say, going back, and I've got to finish this very, very soon, this video, by the way, but hey, teaching means that one person talks to another in patience and time to make learning happen. So what we really need to do is to say we are happy that we've got 2560. We're happy that we may have had a template, which obviously, if, sorry, I forgot to mention, but it's pretty obvious that if you... Um, download a file which is the clear file don't download one with a template over the top because you will have downloaded something you don't want because it's got the template over the top okay done then we need to go on and we open up our YouTube channel which is here and then you in the normal way you would hit customize channel and then you would see he says clicking customize channel and it opens stuff up there I'm gonna close that because I don't want it to show uh, so in other words 
incognito with the one I did earlier to save time. Here it is, and what you'll notice if you want to play around with this, if you're new to YouTube, and I fully intend that this video is aimed at people who are not sure, that if you resize your own channel, you can see that the way the graphic and everything has moved small, and then depending on how big your window is, of course, it depends how big your channel is showing. And that is it, people. And so I hope that this is 10 minutes have been well spent to get you out of, um, shall we say, a little bit of trouble from navigating your way through making maybe a channel art banner for the very, very first time, paying attention to these ratios, maybe SVGs, and I'll put the links in the description box. For me, Mike Downs at the Mike Downs page, I am very much using this new um, logo, banner, call it what you want, which uh, is nothing more than circle triangle made in Google Slides, Google Drawings. The wheel of learning and the triangulation of the triangle to simulate play. I just want it to be seen across all borders, from children all the way up to adults, for everywhere else. So have a lovely afternoon, evening, and thank you very much.